The final scene of the opera takes place in the burial vault of the Capuleti, which Romeo enters surreptitiously with a group of Montechi men. Inconsolably grief-stricken, he asks his men to remove the veil covering Giulietta's body. Ordering the Montechi to leave him alone for a few moments, he tells the sleeping girl that if she cannot awaken, he wishes to die with her. In desperation, he swallows poison himself. As he takes the poison, Giulietta awakens from the death-like sleep caused by the potion she took earlier. Realizing what he has done, she begs to die with him and asks for his dagger. When he refuses to give it to her, she asks for poison, and he tells her none remains. He exhorts her to live, but she prays that her life will be cut short. When Romeo dies, Giulietta falls lifeless beside him, killed by grief and shock. The Montecchi return, followed by the Capuleti, along with Capello and Lorenzo. Finding the lovers dead, Giulietta's father asks who has killed them. Lorenzo and the Montecchi reply that he, Capello, caused their deaths. A high, wide staircase at the back leads down to the Capuleti vault on the stage, where Giulietta's body lies on a marble bier draped in white gauze. In a semicircle around her bier are four white marble coffins, each topped with a full-length statue carved in relief. White lilies are strewn on the floor of the vault. As Romeo, we hear mezzo-soprano Veselina Casarova. As Giulietta, soprano Andrea Rost. As Lorenzo, bass Umberto Cumo. As Capello, bass baritone Jeffrey Wells. Our conductor is Bruno Campanella. Here is the third, the final scene of Act Two of I Capuleti e Montecchi, The Capulets and the Montagues by Bellini.
Romeo has died after taking poison, and Giulietta has died from grief. When Capello asks who has killed them, the Montecchi reply that it was the cruelty of Capello himself that caused their deaths. The finale of Bellini's I Capuleti e Montecchi, The Capulets and the Montagues, from Lyric Opera of Chicago. Bruno Campanella conducting the Lyric Opera Orchestra and Chorus. Donald Palumbo, his lyrics chorus master. This is Maestro Campanella's lyric opera debut. Here now are our two principal soloists, soprano Andrea Rost as Giulietta, mezzo-soprano Veselina Kasarova as Romeo. Both artists have appeared at Lyric in several productions, Miss Rost as Erlina in Don Giovanni, Violetta in La Traviata, and Gilda in Rigoletto. Miss Casarova as Rosina in The Barber of Seville and as Idomante in Mozart's Idomeneo. Miss Roche, who sang her first Giulietta in this performance, made her professional debut as Gounod's Juliet at the Hungarian State Opera. Here now is bass baritone Jeffrey Wells as Capello. Mr. Wells also appeared in the role of Capulet in Gounod's Romeo and Juliet, during Lyric's 98-99 season. And now, bass Umberto Cumo, who sang Lorenzo. A native of Italy, he has appeared as Bartolo in The Marriage of Figaro under Riccardo Muti at La Scala, and in the title role of that opera at Glyndebourne. Tenor Fabio Sartori now, as Tebaldo. A native of Treviso, Italy, he made his American opera debut in this performance. This season, he sings at the Zurich Opera House in Simone Bocanegra, Don Carlo, and Maria Stuarda, and in Lucia de Lammermoor in Rome and Japan. <laughs> Cheers as Andrea Roche, star Giulietta, reappears. Her other bel canto roles include Adina and Lucia at the Met, and the title role of Donizetti's Elisabetta at London's Royal Festival Hall. 
She also sings her first Mimi in La Boheme at the Netherlands Opera this season. Andrea Rost, our Giulietta. More cheers now for Veselina Kasarova, our Romeo. The Bulgarian mezzo-soprano first sang this role at the Paris Bastille in 1996. When singing Bellini's music, she says, loud is not dramatic, expressiveness is dramatic. And now all five of our soloists join hands for an ensemble bow. This is the Ameritech production of Bellini's The Capulets and the Montagues. Its revival is made possible by the Elizabeth Morse Genius Charitable Trust. And Miss Rost has gone to stage right to greet maestro Bruno Campanella. He asks the Lyric Opera Orchestra to stand and share in this applause at the Artist Cranich Theater. Mr. Campanella is the principal guest conductor at the Turin Opera, where he led the Rake's Progress. He hopes one day to conduct another English language work he admires, Bernstein's West Side Story. Now coming out for a collective bow are members of the production team. Stage director Giulio Chazalet, set and costume designer Ulisse Santiki, and lighting designer Christine Binder, along with chorus master Donald Palumbo. Sarah Stewart is Lyric Opera's choreographer and ballet mistress. Richard Jarvie is the company's wig master and makeup designer. The assistant stage director for this production was Leslie Halla. John W. Coleman was stage manager. Nicholas Sands was the fight director. And the stage band conductor was Philip Moorhead. Musical preparation was by James Johnson, Robert Tweeten, and Eric Weimer. And the projected titles were by Francis Rizzo. As you can hear, the audience here at Lyric continues to call the cast back for more ensemble bows. The national radio broadcast sponsors of Lyric Opera of Chicago are Nuveen Investments, the national law firm of Foley and Lardner, Quaker Foods and Beverages, a division of PepsiCo, and the Elizabeth Morse Charitable Trust.